afternoon, I'm Zansi, and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Balisa Dembe, and this is your Friday edition of Afternoon Express. Now, today on the show, we meet Nigerian superstar LAX. We get a dance performance by Beverly Joffe. Plus, we explore the design philosophy behind Silo Mudube's Scalo. But do me in the kitchen. Happy Friday, girl. Hello, Pali. Looking all hot today. I'm loving the jewels. But today in the kitchen, we'll be making something very simple, and it is one of our viewers' recipes. We'll be making a clover classic mayo, macaroni and tuna salad. To get all the recipe details, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. But back to you, Pali. Thank you so much for the compliment, Dumi. Now kicking us off for the show, 10 years ago, Tashriq de Villiers' life was completely down in the dumps. All it took was a chance, one chance, and he grabbed that chance with both hands. And a decade later, he is a two-times Fleur de Cap nominee, performing artist and rapper. Can I call you Ricky? You can. Yes, Welcome definitely. to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Now, um, I know it does sound quite dramatic when people say 10 years ago, down in the dumps. But compared to where you are today, we need to celebrate the journey. Yes. So can you just take us back to uh, little Tashrik and, and how, you did, <laughs> yeah. how you were growing up? Sure. So um, Tashrik grew up in Woodstock, the um, last born of five kids, um, looked after by a single mother. So that already on its own is quite difficult, you know. And then the area didn't help because it's gang ridden, drug infested, yeah. you know. We have all the wrong role models and so forth. But I found myself looking up to these guys and whatever. But mm. then I always had this thing in me for the arts because my brother was a singer, Fasih. He was a lead singer of a group. So I always went to his shows. I always used to support him. And that led me into singing. Mm. So primarily I'm actually a singer. Yeah. This is quite interesting. I mean, you didn't just stumble into becoming a singer. Everything is a journey. Yeah. But you as a man, you also have a very strong, interesting journey that I think right now so many South Africans can identify with. After being the last born of five children, your father unfortunately decided to pursue a life of his own, yeah. leaving you with your mom and your siblings. And then you looked up to the street gangsters, yes. the violence. Yes. Um, they had the flashy cars, Pela. <laughs> they, had, uh, they were the who's who dressed nicely. Yes. And you were like, you know what? That's better than nothing. Yeah. Definitely, and so that was my go-to thing. Yeah. So I was like, guys, how did you get this stuff? And then like, this is what you need to do, that's what you need to do. There enters a life of crime, drugs, gangsterism, and absolute chaos. So can you just talk to me about that stage of your life? Well, um, how old you were a teenager at the time? Yeah, I was a teenager. Yeah, sure. we just lost. Uh, we just lost um, the Greenpoint track where the Klubsa uh, annual mm. Klubsa uh, competition was held. So we just lost that, and we moved had to go to different stadiums. I was like, I don't want to go to different stadiums. I'm used to winning at that stadium. Mm. So I'm gonna leave this Klubsa uh, thing, and I'm gonna be with these guys on the streets and whatever. So it was chaos, as you mentioned, literally chaos, gangsterism, crime, the things I've done in my life. I'm, yeah. I ask forgiveness for my Lord every day, but I'm not ashamed of it because it built me into who I am today. Mm. And this way I can inspire the next kid in the ghettos, in the slums. Look here, it's not where you're from, it's where you're going. Wow. If you have any passion or desire inside of you, make effort on that. And that's going to bring you somewhere, definitely. I love that. I mean, you did say that you were a singer yeah. um, and you're part of the club. So for yeah. South Africans right there who are not, you know, living <laughs> in Cape Town, who might not be familiar with what the club is, yeah. I remember you from back in the day. You yeah. dressed me up. <laughs> <laughs> as one of the <laughs> happy clubs in yes. my stripes. So can you just break down that culture, that tradition, and what led you to want to go back? Yeah, so clubs are it's huge in, in Cape Town because it's the one day that we had for emancipation as slaves when we were brought to the Cape. So this day of emancipation, it was a day of celebration for them. So we live this, we relive this every year. And, but there's actually a formal competition that happens at the stadium. Wow. Where there's like 20 something different categories of items that we performing against each other, you know? So I became, later on, when I got the, the hand that, what, that pulled me up yeah. from a guy, Shahid Simons, and another guy, Tariq Blechner, to help me, they literally came to fetch me out of the gang, eh? And the gang knew already, if they see that car, they must say, Ricky, run. Because they knew that, oh, wow, okay, yeah. so this is kind of a different type of gang wars. Yeah. Uh, the the clubs up yeah. versus the gang that you were a part of, yes. being able to now fight for territory, yeah. that is Tashrik. They're gonna lose me, the gang's gonna lose me because they know what if I do, I'm the front runner, you know? Wow. So when the clubs got me, they took me to the clubs karma, as we know it, and literally the rest was history. They were like, write the song, what lyric will you put on this beat? 
What did that then do for you, being able to make the jump between a life of chaos, mm -hmm. a life where you have to turn, look behind you at yeah. every moment, to a family structure, people that accept you, people that want to push, nurture that creativity within yeah. you. What did that do for the man inside? Right there, that changed my life. Mm. From that moment, and when I sang that competition with that team that year, and I won. Ah. And we won the whole competition also. Right there, that changed my life. I was like, guys, I told, I told my gang, guys, I can't anymore, man. I can't anymore. Wow, I'm that's very powerful. So let's talk to you being the creative that you are, the incredible talent. I mean, <laughs> a two-time Fleur de Cap nominee within the same category. Yes. The first ever. You were, you were the first one in history. <laughs> so Mzanti, essentially, let's bring it back to home. If you're not familiar with all things Fleur de Cap, it is essentially the um, musical theater, yes. I could say, awards that we hold. And um, within one category, you were nominated twice for two two different roles that you played. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, that was for, one of them was Danger in the Dark with David Kramer. Mm -hmm. So he directed that piece. It was a, it's a, actually a remake of a, of a thing called Poison, mm. also a play. So I played a supporting lead character, Lucky. It was amazing because I could tap into the gangster Tashrik because that's what Lucky was, you know. Wow. And then Auntie Using Mo. your real life experience to inform the art. Yes, and then Auntie Mo was obviously more comical. Because Mark Luttering, you know how he does, eh? Yeah, we so, love Mark Luttering yeah, here. Yeah, so I played a double role in that show. I was Pastor Jansen and um, the Ben 10 guy, mm. uh, Glenn Davids. People will know me from the Bath scene, <laughs> where I lost my T-shirt and things. <laughs> but, I mean, of course yeah. we'd know you for that. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the two roles, yes. That was the two wow. stage plays, both of them, Flair the Cup nominations, Best Supporting Lead Actor. I mean, you are just such an inspiration, truly someone to be marveled over. I also want to touch base with you. Um, you also played, a, again, another huge fan of our show <laughs> and a family member, Yusuf Daniels. Yes, um, Living Coloured. Yeah. Yeah, the best-selling book in South Africa. They Love made it, it um, Lukman Adams directed it, mm. into a phenomenal stage play, telling, oh, basically expressing the book yeah. into the arts and in, onto a stage play, you know. I, I played him. Yes, you so did. So it was, it was actually amazing to, to play a character that's not fictional or that's not made up, you know. He's actually sitting there watching me play. Oh, honey, the pressure. <laughs> Imagine playing Palisa Tembe and Palisa Tembe is right there. And I love Yusuf Daniels. He's an easy man to yeah. please because he's just got such a huge heart. Yes. So thank you so much for coming through and sharing some of that talent with us here on Afternoon Express. You've got a rap performance for us at the end of the show. I do. And then I'm just going to be touching base with you, wrapping up with Chef Dumi about what you've got in store for us moving forward. Thank you so much, Palisa. Oh, Pleasure. love it. Now, it doesn't matter how you start off Mzanti in life or whatever pit you might find yourself in. Tishrik is a true testament that faith and believing in yourself can only bring about light, but make your life a success and a happy one indeed. Now, on social media, Mzanti, this is what we're saying to you. Happy Friday, fam. So what's the one word to describe your plans for the weekend? Use that hashtag, Afternoon Express. But coming up, I touch base with Nigerian so Superstar Ale X.
Nigerian superstar LAX is soon becoming a global sensation with his mix and fusion, both of Afrobeats and Ama Piano. He joins us now via Zoom, but first, let's take a quick look at his music video, Go Low. so excited to be here, man. Thank you so much. My brother, you cannot be more excited than me. I mean, last year, you released your debut album, Zaza Vibes. Now tell us, what was that all about? So it was just uh, me um, in the studio, just creating something um, amazing. And because of the COVID-19 um, lockdown that happened in Nigeria, I had time to, you know, be hands on my music and just, you know, locking in the studio. And I created something amazing. So that's Zaza vibes. Yeah, I love it. I'm loving all that it emulates within it. But prior to the release of Zaza Vibes, you were a rapper in a three-man group called Flyboys. <laughs> now, what was it like transitioning from being a member of a group to going out on your own? Yeah, so it happened naturally. So um, mm. I started the group in Nigeria and um, I went for my university in um, Manchester in the UK. So um when I was there, I was just alone. My two um, other um, rap mates were back in Nigeria, so we could not um, link up anymore. So I just started doing the music alone, and that's how it happened. So it wasn't like I wanted to leave the group or we fought or anything. It was just natural um, movement. Yeah. Sometimes you do need that natural progression to be able to catapult you to that very next level. So sometimes, you know, you have to find the blessing in all of the chaos. And that's exactly what you are. Yeah. You are an independent human being. I mean, you released this album as an independent artist. So how would you say that this yeah. played a role in the way you executed your creativity within the album? Yeah, so for me, like, um, as an independent artist, I had very free hands, you know, in creating. So it was very easy. It was very interesting because I could try different sounds. Yeah. And that's what gave it to, you know, go low. Because I used um, sounds like a map piano, Afrobeats, and just put it together. And it became something um, magical. So I feel like being an independent artist for me helped me, you know, create mm. beyond my expectations. And I think that you surpassed all of our expectations as a Nigerian artist. I mean, this album features the song Go Low, which is inspired by Ama Piano, as you just said. So though you are primarily an Afrobeat artist, how would then you say the South African genre of Ama Piano inspired you to create and fuse the beats within the song? 
for me, like I've always loved, you know, South African music, especially the South African house music. In 2017, 18, I, I dropped a single called Guara Guara, yeah. which did very, very well, you know, in South Africa and even in Nigeria. So I've always been inspired by the music because I feel like South African music is so sweet. And, you know, for me to be Nigerian as well, Afrobeat is obviously sweet as well. So, Putting those two together just, you know, made something amazing. It made magic, my brother. I mean, I'm a piano is a growing genre in Nigeria, and you are gladly one of the first major artists in Nigeria to introduce the genre into your market. So how has the reception been so far? Amazing, amazing. I won't lie to you. Like, <laughs> if you go to any clubs, you go to any bars, you go on the street, they are playing Amar Piano, they are playing Golo, they are playing South African music. So I feel like South African music is is doing very, very well in Nigeria right now. And I think that you're also doing such an incredible job at pushing the movement forward. So thank you so much, Ale X, for stopping by Afternoon Express and, you know, sharing the love with your South African fans. Thank you so much. I'm very excited that I came on the show. Bless. Peace, my brother. A true superstar indeed. I mean, we're very proud of Mzanti, knowing that a major Nigerian superstar just like Ale X is taking our genre of music over on the other side of the continent. But coming up, I'm also looking forward to a delicious treat that Dumi has up her sleeve, Evidence's choice of Clover Classic Mayo Macaroni and Tuna Salad.
There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back, South Africa, and thank you for staying tuned because I've got something that I know you will definitely want to try. Now, pasta salads are one of the most classic sides to bring along to a braai. And if you are looking to level up your pasta salad game, then you might want to try this winning recipe from one of the entrants of our Clover Classic Mayo competition. Evidence Noglunga submitted her Clover Classic Mayo macaroni and tuna salad recipe that we're about to show you. And she's also that lucky winner of that 1,000 Rand voucher. Congratulations. But to start it off, this is a simple recipe. That's what I love about it. Thank you, uh, Evidence, for putting us on. It's a simple recipe because everyone probably has all the ingredients at home. It starts off with some simple macaroni. If you don't want to use this one, you can use the other fusilli. It's, most of us call it the screws. You can use that. You can. Uh, we've also got some tuna in our salad, some red, yellow, and green pepper. We've got some tomato, some parsley, parsley that we've chopped up, salt, pepper, and a bit of garlic. Uh, uh, powder. We've also got cucumber for that additional texture, but we're also going to bind all of this up with our Clover Classic Mayo. And today, because of the winning recipe, we're going to be using the Tang Level 3, which is Evidence's favorite. To start it off, I've already got my pasta that's cooked up. I'm going to be chopping up some of our ingredients here, which is my red pepper. I've got the yellow pepper that's already been chopped up, so let's put that aside. I've also got our green peppers that have already been um, chopped up as well. And if you don't know, red, yellow, and green peppers are exactly the same pepper, it's just a different times that it's harvested they don't go in color it red or color it green I promise you <laughs> so you do know that this is natural and healthy and delicious for you so all I want to do now is just cut off cut up this pepper most people like it finely I don't I prefer the chunkiness of it because I think peppers are delicious I think they are amazing the flavor in there is just divine and it works pe perfectly in the salad because it brings the crunch to the salad but it also brings a nice earthy tone to it because of those different kinds like I mentioned we've got the red yellow and green peppers the different textures and the different levels at which it's harvested has a different type of sweetness to it so I'm going in with our red peppers there and to add to that additional crunch, I'm going in with my cucumber here. A lot of people like to remove the center, the seeds. I don't know why you do that, because that's additional nutrients. But also, it, if you think about people that drink cucumber juice, most of the juice is there, most of the liquid is there. So you don't want to get rid of that. It actually keeps you hydrated. So I would suggest keep it, don't chuck it. Use it in your smoothies if you want to, rather, instead of throwing it away, it is good for you. So I'm chopping up my cucumbers here. If you want to keep it as uh, these half moons you're more than welcome to do that but I'm just going to chop it up a little bit more just so that they're the same size as everything else in our uh, bowl here then I'm going to go in and cut our tomatoes as well so this is also quite a healthy recipe you know as much as we're using macaroni in there it is quite healthy for you because of all the freshness that we have in here so at least you know it's a guilty pleasure as well it's not something that you have to be com completely worried about in terms of your figure it, you don't have to worry about it it is good for you and then I'm going to cut my tomatoes as well and another thing that I've noticed when people make salads especially with tomato some people want to remove the seeds as well I don't I actually like to eat my veggies um, every single part of it the only thing I would remove obviously is just this part which is where the stem would normally be and if you wanted to use baby tomatoes Roma tomatoes that also is an option uh, maybe just cut them up in half perhaps just to so that they're the same size but you don't have to because they're already so small I'm chopping up my tomatoes here just to make sure they're about the same size as well as the rest of our ingredients over here. Keeping it simple. And because, like I mentioned, we're going to be using our Clover level, our Clover Classic Mayo Tang Level 3, I'm not going to be needing to add additional things like lemon juice, perhaps, because the tanginess is already in the actual um, mayo itself. So it's already done what we need it uh, to do. And simple, that is all going in there with our tomatoes. And now that all the fresh ingredients are in, I can start assembling this recipe quite simple I'm gonna go in with some of my macaroni I like to have a ratio of half and half so as much uh, one to one in essence so as much macaroni as it is of the fresh ingredients and then I go in with my tuna if you don't want to use tuna you can leave it as just a vegetarian dish if you'd like to you can actually replace the tuna perhaps with some chicken you can replace it with some beef you can replace it with, with any protein of your choice you could even add eggs to this and it becomes an 
egg pasta salad. I'm also adding our parsley that's been nicely chopped up and we always season our salads. I've got some garlic powder that's going in there and then seasoning it nicely with some salt and pepper. If you wanted to add additional herbs to this, you could also add mint. It would work very well in this recipe. Or maybe coriander as well. It works perfectly as well. And then to tie it all together, the star of the show. We are using Tang Level 3, our Clover Classic Mayo Tang Level 3, because Evidence absolutely loves it. She uses it also in her pastas, in her potato salads, in her cucumber and carrot salads. She uses it in her sandwiches, so it's perfect. It's a perfect accompaniment for any dish, not just salads. If you want to put it on your sandwich, which is it works just as perfectly as well. And I know that uh, um, Evidence mentioned that she likes to use a combination of starch and veg because it keeps her healthy and, and you know all those nutrients that are in there. So you can follow suit and do it just as she does as well and add as much of that into your dishes. And as you can see, South Africa, the dish is really simple and easy. I'm gonna plate this up for you. And I know if you want to, you could change it up from the Tang level three and use level two if that's what you prefer. But we're keeping it classic here by making Evidence is salad exactly how she uh, instructed us to do, and this is how it looks. This is the final dish. I'm really looking forward to digging into this, and I hope you are too. But before I do that, I just want to congratulate our girl, Evidence, once more. Congratulations, Evidence, for this winning recipe. We could be making your recipe next on the show. All you have to do is simply comment on the Clover Classic Mayo competition post by telling us what dish you would cook with the Clover Classic Mayo, and what tang do you like? Do you prefer tang level one, which is mild, tang level two, which is medium, my favorite, or tang level three for the stronger ones like evidence, you could stand the chance to win a 1,000 Rand cash voucher and we will be cooking the winning recipe right here next week on Afternoon Express. So go on and get entering, but if you miss the steps to evidence's delicious recipe, watch the space for a quick recap. much to me I love myself a good tuna salad what an absolute classic but coming up we're gonna get into the vibes girlfriend show us what we're gonna be doing after the break oh wow yes bum, 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 bum. Boom. I mean all <laughs> of that Mzanti. we are going to be meeting the superstar herself Beverly uh, after the break let's go for it girl I don't even know what I'm doing. There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover.
welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a real treat. On Thursday, the 8th of April, a Turkish TV series called The Red Room comes to SABC3. And here to give us a taste of a little Turkish heritage and culture is professional belly dancer Beverly Joffi. Take it away. <laughs> afraid to make myself a little look a little silly and you know stumble on myself but wow that is how you truly do it as a professional now Beverly thank you so much for that incredible performance it's my pleasure it's what I love to do and it definitely shows I mean the passion radiating with you when you dance definitely does translate now I'm very passionate about a very new brand new drama series coming to SABC3 now it is based on all things Turkey Turkish heritage and um, it's called the Red Room now, someone like yourself who's no stranger to Turkish shores, how excited are you that SABC3 is being able to give such content that platform? This is such a beautiful addition to the SABC. How wonderful that so much of the Mediterranean culture can come through and the drama and the passion and the colors and the food and everything that comes through from Turkey yeah. is going to be amazing. Viewers are going to love it. What made you fall in love with Turkey? Absolutely, I can't even put my finger on the one thing, the fabrics that come from there. There's um, families that have been traveling and trading things down the Silk Road for generations. The culture, the richness, mm -hmm. um, the language, the music. It's magnificent. Well, I definitely want to learn a little bit of Turkey here on Afternoon Express. You've promised me some belly dancing and I really did embarrass myself before the ad break. You know, me doing that little one, two, one, two for you, South Africa. So now it's time for me to learn how to do it professionally. Girl, where does one start when it comes to belly dancing? There are three carriages in the body. Mm. The hip carriage, the rib carriage, and the jaw carriage. They are going to be the centers of your energy. So you can really sit, like put your consciousness into the hip carriage, mm -hmm. into the rib carriage, perfect. And the jaw carriage carries <laughs> the joy. Hey, yes. Hey. I also love the fact that, you know, we've seen a lot of belly dancers over the years, but the way that you've been able to isolate the different parts of the body so that you're able to use it and move it differently because I can only imagine that each part of the body communicates something different as well. Certainly, it takes some years of practice to start to activate the internal muscles that you need. Mm. All sports and dance mostly uses external except maybe for Tai Chi, oh, yes. martial arts. They start to use those tiny inner muscles. Mm. Those are the ones that you need. If, for example, everyone can do the shimmy, right? Yes. Like this. <laughs> right? But to get the muscles trained over the years mm. to do this. Wow, look at the difference. I can already see it within the body. I mean, isolating the muscles from the hips and then having the entire body move erupting with joy I love that okay I'm already tired and sweating South Africa who knew that belly dancing could be this exhausting so you do have a second performance for us something more interactive something can you just show me maybe an eight count and then you can go ahead well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you the theory of layering because mm. that's all about the belly dancing sandwich so for example if you've got this going on then you add that <laughs> You are in a belly dancing sandwich. Okay, Boom. Let's go. One, two, three, let's go. Definitely a whole lot of fun. So that is what a belly dancing sandwiching technique? Well, um, 
everything is about the layers and the more that you practice, the more. Um, I'm just, I'm so happy to share my dance with you today and I have just loved, loved seeing you dance. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's one of my special joys to teach and one of my special joys to perform. Sometimes people do just one or the other really well. Uh -huh. I just can't, my heart is in both. Oh uh, yeah, can't choose <laughs> and we would never let you choose. <laughs> Belly dancing is just a taste of Turkish heritage and culture. We plan to bring you right here on Afternoon Express. Next time, we'll be focusing on food and decor as we anticipate the 8th of April when the Red Room comes to our TV screens. Beverly, take it away. Boom. You looked amazing. Your hips definitely don't lie, girl. <laughs> now, if there's one fashion designer in South Africa whose work is so bold and so creative that it isn't a surprise that it shows up in the fashion shows in Europe and the United States, it's got to be Salome Dupi, the creative and artistic design behind Scalo Design. Let's take a look at this incredible collection that he showcased for AFI. Check this out. Embodying the promise of Africa's future, Scalo reinvents with bringing hope. I hope to be influential with my clothing in terms of inspiring people. Um, how I make the clothing is very crucial. Um, sculpturing is important and making sure that the garment is in good quality, but also just making a mark out there, you know, uh, representing Africa and South Africa by creating a couture or a high lifestyle brand that can stand out in the world. My mother has been a big contributor in my career. Um, I remember when she bought me my first sewing machine, which was kind of hard to get or get into, but I managed to do it because I, I was quite passionate and determined and I knew this is the career that I want to go with. Sketches are very important when you're a designer because you get to show them to your team in terms of production as well so that they can see which way they're supposed to go. My collection for the Spring Summer 2020-21 uh, AFI collection is inspired by pastel colors. Uh, it's a feeling of happiness, joy, um, humbleness, and also sophistication. My past defined my fashion sense in terms of Growing up from a township, uh, it was very difficult for a boy to be saying, I want to pursue fashion design as a career, because they look at you as this woman who's sewing next door. It's not really considered as a career.
I believe in hard work and I also believe in people caring for other people. Because in this world, for everybody to survive, there's always somebody who's always going to help you out in this world. So hence I say I believe I'm a very humanity kind of believer. And it's always about empowering other people because that's how you get your blessings in this world. It goes without saying why Usilu Mudupi is a fan favorite here at Afternoon Express. Loving his color designs. Loving his designs. And every time he just always, he always delivers. Yeah. Always delivers and that's what we love about him, right? Yeah, I'm <laughs> such a huge fan of him. And not only that, being able to see this entire collection coming together that AFI have been able to put together during these times, what a way to experience, treasure and celebrate fashion. I know, right? <laughs> Pastels in the wild. Who would have thought? Silu Mudupi's creative genius behind Scalo continues to live up to its theme of empowerment and you can shop the collection yourself by visiting the AFI Boutique on www.afiboutique.com. Now, Dumi, I'm very excited because are you ready for some rapping action? Hey, Gil, I, I, I tried rapping. I won a battle you on, did. on our stage. So <laughs> I'd like to think this is my, my theme, you know? Well, you and <laughs> Tashrik, same WhatsApp group, and we're going to get that performance coming up. Yes, yes, y'all. Hi. Afternoon Express, and here is Tashrik with Ricky Opie Beats. Take it away. Yes, yeah. As Ricky Opie Mike, pull out the best in the business. Rack to voice. I'm a friend of the presenter. It's very cops, and I'm a man. So, you live for liquor, take it. As Ricky Opie Beats. 
wasn't just a musical performance. That was a full-on theater piece. I feel like I feel like it too. It feels like it was a music video of sorts, <laughs> like we were shooting a music video in, stu in studio. But you did say that you were a singer now from singing to rapping. Yeah. How did that transition happen? Um, it just happened. Someone actually had a favorite song. It was a the song from another American artist. And they were like, Ricky, don't you want to try writing some lyrics to the song? Okay. So I was like, okay, let me try something. Uh -huh. And then it worked, it went viral, and everyone was like, Ricky, you need to make more. <laughs> Okay. Music. I was in there. And that is it. The rest okay. is history. Yeah. I love that. Whilst I'm dishing up some of do me or should I say evidences, tuna salad. And I'm gonna let you know what I think, homegirl. I had a word with one of your backup dancers, Kyle. Kyle with yeah, the yeah, wig. Yeah. And Kyle said apparently, you know, you are quite the dictator <laughs> when it comes to rehearsals. You're a drill sergeant, essentially. Having to put together something like that, what a production. Is that just the type of person you are when it comes to rehearsals? I think so, yeah. Safe to say that because I I directed my own music video as well, and, and I'll, but I'll never do it again because it's way too much stress. And even for this piece, we choreographed this like last night. Mm. So needed to be, you know, because it's not a music video where we can take snippets and snippets yeah. and put them all together. It's a live performance. Yeah. So yeah, they really felt me, and I'm grateful for them. <laughs> well, listen, we're grateful for it. So then, do you just adapt the same type of mentality when you're up on stage doing these musical pieces and musical theatre to when you're performing on a stage? such as our own. Yes, and in fact, the theatre world, like working with Mark Luttering and David Crum and top talents like Alistair mm. and Lukman, them, that's really helped my game, you yeah. know, because I know how to express myself better, mm. facially, body, energy, everything. Yeah. So, 
uh, theatre actually helped me and shaped me for this whole industry. Well, on yeah. that note, I feel like I need to ask you then, because I'm the mother, mother to a baby boy, and I feel like you, there would have been telltale signs from your family that they could have maybe picked up when you obviously went into the previous life that you had. Yeah. Is there any advice you can give parents or kids to look out for to say, look, you definitely, if you look at this, the child yeah. is definitely can taken the wrong turn, mm. you need to start asking questions. Well, I, th I think I was just a good actor with that, eh? Wow. Because, like, my mom, she, when people told her, Tashrik is doing this, Tashrik mm. is doing that, she was like, my can, my Tashrik. Wow. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, it's really difficult, actually, but you as the mother, you can film it. Mm. Like, my mom, she had that calling. If she was like, mm. I need help with Tashrik. Someone needs to help him. Take him to sing, take him to a stage, take him somewhere. Distract him. Yes, <laughs> you know? But the main thing is, for your kids, like, Everything is, is driven on passion. If, you, if, if you're not following your passion with a desire and determination, then you're going to be stuck somewhere wow. that you don't want to be. You know what I mean? Well, Tashrik, thank you so much for joining us here on Afternoon Express. We really do appreciate it. You do. You definitely brought a whole new energy to our Friday show, and we really, really love that. Someone else, Dumi, who also brought a different type of energy to our show is Evidence. Home girl, 10 out of 10, 100%. <laughs> this tuna salad is absolutely delicious, but most importantly, it is classic. So thank you for bringing it to us, Tumi. Oh, thank you, Bali. Thank you, uh, Evidence, again. I really appreciate it. It really is a good recipe. I love it. While Mzanti continue to engage with us on social media, and let's keep the party going on over there. Use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments. But from us here on Afternoon Express, it's been such an incredible week with you. Good night, stay safe, and happy eating. Goodbye. Bye. Make the most of glorious summer with your picnic favorites. Made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.